Aquí está la 450. We had to paint this whole thing and we didn't want to paint the whole thing, huh? Mira, aquí nos topamos aquí. Petey, what you doing in the neck of the wood? Okay, we get it, bro. You got a fast truck back again. I think we're gonna have to go back to the muffler shop with this one and try to achieve the goal that we were trying to do with the 460. We've been going back and forth where we're gonna be mounting these turbos and I think we finally got it down. Started with a crumb, made it at them slums, can't forget where I came from. Made it at them slums, can't forget where I came from. What's up guys, welcome back to the Troqueando channel. Now we're here at Leading Edge Collision because we're picking up the 450 sleeper. And that thing came in here for some body work and it actually got damaged when we had that hurricane come through Houston. This thing is finally finished up. We're gonna be checking out the finished product, letting you guys see the whole thing. Got some new paint, bed, a whole bunch of dents fixed up on it. So this thing's gonna be looking good. We're gonna be taking it to Adele, Georgia for Tacos y Trocas this weekend. So we're actually leaving this Thursday night to go over there. So if you guys are in the area, make sure you guys swing on by. It's gonna be races, burnout pits, concert. It's gonna be a badass time. It's up on El Bueno, Adele, Georgia. See you guys there at Tacos y Trocas. Gonna have the whole setup, the giveaway truck. You're gonna be able to buy some merch there as well. Secure entries because we're on the last days on this giveaway truck. Don't miss your chance. That 2021 F-150 Coyote plus $10,000 is up for grabs and you could be taking it. So don't miss out guys, do not miss out. Let's go check out how this show came out. Aquí está la 450. Shoot, we had to paint this whole thing and we didn't want to paint the whole thing, huh? <laughs> Guys, originally this thing came in for just some dents on the bed, on the cab. We're gonna throw the bed liner on it. Remove the, uh, dude, it looks way better without the molding. Yeah. Remove the, the moldings on there. And uh, we had some uh, hurricane issues. Hurricane Barrow fucked it up. Messed it up. So, what happened? But it was on the bed cart and with all the wind and everything outside, it just. It back and forth. All over the parking lot and the best bumping start, into stuff. And the best started here on the front ended up in the back. <laughs> Remember, we we're gonna put yeah. caps because they were so wavy. Mm -hmm. Well, since we had to fix it anyways. So is this the new? Is it new bed size or same ones? Same ones. Same ones. Yeah. So originally planned, we had a bunch of holes here, some little waveness on both sides. We we're gonna try to fix it with the uh, the bed caps, but since everything had to get painted, might as well get it painted too. And it looks, it looks good. Color match the handle. Replace this. So we didn't need latches before we were talking about getting latches. Yeah. What it needed is just these rubbers. Okay. Because the rubbers, they push up against right here and, and pull the tailgate out. Okay. So that's all, it, that's all it was. So it needed both of them. So if you guys have that tailgate issue, that's a common issue too. It is. It's, it's a common just issue. just a triangle rubber. So they, this thing moves back and forth. It makes it feel like the latches are worn out or something. And, that's, and it's just these. It's just that little piece. Yeah. We got them for like 10 bucks on Amazon. Okay. So now this thing closes up, doesn't move. So new bumper in the back, the whole bed size have been repainted, the cab, doors. Yep. Man, this thing looks slick, bro. Yeah, it looks really, it looks really good. good. Tire dressing so you can burn out more. <laughs> in style. So we painted up there with the doors. Back. Yeah, the doors. Yeah, doors, cab corner, and both bed sides. Both bed sides. Because this thing had dents all like right here. Mm -hmm. so, on both sides. So all this has been taken care of. We took off the moldings, the black moldings on there. I think it looks pretty slick like this without the moldings on there. The whole front end was good to go, no issues on the front end. It was just the back end that had some damage on it. Mira, aquí nos topamos aquí. Speedy, what are you doing in the neck of the wood? 
Guys, so the truck is done. We actually had to bring it back because we had some AC issues that came up and they actually had to tear the whole dash apart to get to it. So what we were already planning was on taking this truck to Speedy so we could do the whole interior. But that's the way we're gonna go about it. We're gonna take it to him, what, Monday, next week? Next we're gonna take it to him. He's gonna take apart the whole interior. And then after that, we're gonna bring it back to Leading Edge so they can do the whole AC work. But while it's there, we're thinking, what, wrap the whole dash? Yeah, we're gonna wrap the dash. We're gonna do put some seats. leather seats. We're gonna redo the headliner, headliner the visors. Everything. Basically, we freshen up the whole interior. Try, try to do the whole thing on it. Now we wanna make sure we keep this interior nice and clean because we don't keep no stock interiors around here. So all of our trucks have some nice clean interiors. So we're going with the new logo on this one as well. The Troqueando Sporty logo here. Uh, do the new seats, do the wrap dash. We're probably gonna touch up these pi this pillars. Plus, yeah, yeah or wrap them. We're gonna see how we're gonna go about it once we get in there. Headliner is gonna get redone as well. We're gonna keep this titty panel because it looks unique a little bit. We're just gonna order some, uh, what is some, um, some grill like, inserts or something? We might do like a custom speaker grill. Okay. So para que se just, bien. just to protect mm -hmm. it a little bit. So. Those are the plans for this truck. Hopefully next week we get to drop it off at Speedy Headliners. You guys seen the videos. These guys have been doing a bunch of work on our trucks. They do some badass work. So if you guys need to get some work done. You got some trucks from what? Florida right now? From Florida. From Florida. Nebraska. Chicago. Uh, Atlanta. Yeah, Atlanta. Atlanta? Que mas este... I have another one from Dallas. Dallas? Yeah. Yeah, so they get a lot of work in, guys. So they do some badass work. If you guys want to hit them up for any kind of, you know, custom interior, even boxes, uh, LED lights inside, <laughs> the, the star headliner también, by the way. También de todo. Sunroof is it now? Sunroof, también? sound systems, center consoles, ambient lighting, de todo. Todo. So, this is where the truck's gonna be heading to. Speedy headliners. Y'all stay tuned for those changes coming up. Right now, we gotta go pick up some parts. We gotta keep on working on Draco, eh? Mm -hmm. Nos toca jale, eh? Está bueno, Speedy? Yes, Appreciate it. I'll take it to you next week. That's Get it, bro. You got a fast truck back again. Yeah, I miss this bitch, right? I missed it. Sounds good, too, huh? Mm -hmm. I think we're gonna have to go back to the muffler shop with this one and try to achieve the goal that we were trying to do with the 416. Yeah, but this time we're gonna have the right parts. This time we're gonna have the right parts. But, guys, if you did not watch that video, a lot of your comments were saying that we had to do certain parts, X pipes, and stuff like that. I know we didn't do the whole nine yards with that one. We tried our best with what it already had. I think this one we're gonna have to go from the long tube headers to the X pipe, all running it. Like underneath the dry shaft, no? That's how it goes? Pretty much. That's, that's the way it's meant to be, I think. So that should achieve a nice Corvette sound. So I think uh, we're gonna have to be heading over to Aces to get this one done, porque it sounds good, but I wanted to sound like that Corvette. I think it's gonna be a better sound. Mm -hmm. And then dump them out to men. También. Yeah, yeah. Dump them out too. Now this one, we are gonna be taking it this weekend. So again, we're leaving this weekend to Tacos y Trocas. We're gonna take it out there. There is a track of weather, so we might run this one. If we can get that tire flipped over, Mm -hmm. uh, just in time so we can go out there and do some friendly little runs just try to see what it does over there we are working on Draco we're actually fabbing up the pipe work right now for the turbo kit so let me go show you what, what we got right now es un desmadre that way? Yeah. we didn't think it would be this much work but it is it's it a is big enough. headache it's a big headache so we're trying to do a lot of things in the house just because we're trying to learn and at the end of the day like what better feeling than to say you know we did it in house hopefully it doesn't bite us in the ass and it doesn't come out good come out good my boy Julio is gonna be coming out here helping us out with the fab work. We got a bunch of parts here that just came in. We got everything. We got a radiator. We got a radiator. We got a know what, You know what? What is it for again? The wastegate? That's for the wastegate. This is a is this is a one. One point eight seven five. One point eight seven five. Now this is a pipe we're gonna be for the wastegate. To go into the wastegate. To go in the wastegate. The wastegates are forty six millimeter. Yeah, forty six yeah. millimeter. So forty six millimeter. I guess this is the exact measurement for that. Or what? So that's the pipe that's gonna go from the manifold to the wastegate. Uh, and okay. the pipe coming out of the wastegate is one oh, three quarters. Okay. So okay. 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 So I had a Fonseca order all the parts because he knows what he's doing with this shit. So we got this one for the wastegate. Do you know what That's all we need? That's enough for both, yeah. For both? Okay. Three inch? Three inch aluminum pipe. Aluminum pipe. It's still in the I don't even want to take it out. Three inch aluminum piping. We got, we got two of these. I don't know if we're going to. Look, I bought a little extra just to keep it. a little extra. So if we got a bunch of stuff. 
Which one go on right there? Cut. <clears throat> anyway, we got a bunch of stuff here. I'm gonna lay it all out so I can show you guys exactly what we got. Now, this is what we think that we need for the kit. We might need more, or we might have overshot it a little bit. Order some extra parts, maybe. Which is better than not having enough. Not having enough. But we've been going back and forth where we're gonna be mounting these turbos, and I think we finally got it down. So we're gonna show you exactly where that is gonna go now. Sorry, Julio, if you're watching this. But we're gonna go the second round. Uh, but let's lay everything out real quick. What you up to, bro? Everything. I feel like you've been doing this every day. Sweating balls. Like always. I don't see this turbo kit being on for too long. <laughs> First pull, it's going to fall off. We're not going to lose no pressure with this, bro. I, I promise. We're going to lose pressure through there. Taking new clients. <laughs> taking new clients who wants customers. 